Hello and welcome to FDK TV, powered by Data Meaning and brought to you by Darren Holmblad. Today we're going to show you how to export a MicroStrategy document grid with the selectors applied to Excel. So I'm actually going to dive right into it as this customization is fairly straightforward. And I'm going to show you a MicroStrategy document that I've created. So you can see here we have a selector and a grid with an attribute and a metric on it. And if we alter the selector, it updates the grid. So if an end user wanted to export this to Excel, they might go to Home, Export, and choose Excel. And they would download an Excel document. Now the problem is, it also downloads the selector, which might not be desirable for an end user. So in order to provide end users with the functionality that they're looking for, um, we might just want to allow them to download just this grid test report. So this functionality is actual, actually available from express mode. If you go to express mode, you can see that there's an arrow here and that arrow allows you to export to Excel. Now when you open up that, it actually just has the grid and has all the selectors applied to it. So that's useful functionality and it gets the end user what they're looking for. Now the problem is if you disable the title bar, that functionality will no longer be visible. You can see here that functionality has been removed. So we may want to provide that functionality to the end user, even with that title bar not visible on the grid. And we could do so by placing a custom button on the document that invoked this functionality. So when we click on export to Excel, it actually opens up a separate tab. And in that separate tab, we can see the URL, which was utilized to download this Excel document. So if we bring up a text editor, we can look at this URL which was invoked and we can see it uses the MicroStrategy web application and we can see that it's using an event. Now I won't dive too far into events, but there's information about them on the, the MSDL if you wanted to find out more. And we can see that we are using event 3132. We have defined an execution mode, a grid key, which is important and RWB. So RWB is actually going to be the bean state, which is the current state of the document. And that will pick up all the current selectors. So if we were somehow able to dynamically generate all of this information, we could place it in a link on the document. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We can do that by creating HTML container element. which will allow us to write custom HTML. So I've actually already written this HTML and I will explain it to you. We have a body tag and then a script tag. So as you know, most of the functionality in the express mode is actually provided with JavaScript. So a lot of information is available with the Mojo JavaScript framework. So we've defined a custom base, or not a custom, a base URL that has MSTR web, and we can see our event 3132, execution mode, and grid key. Now, as I said, grid key is very important because your grid key on your document will be different than my grid key. And to discover the grid key of the grid that you're looking to export, you just use the developer tools in your browser, and you can look at the HTML. And we can see here that this grid has a grid key of K44. So that's what I've defined in my base URL. And we can see here we have our MSTR web server and our export mode and RWB is blank. As I said, the RWB is the bean state so that we're going to want to obtain that programmatically so we have the most up-to-date bean state. 
as I said, the Mojo framework provides information in the express mode. So we're going to access the bean state from the Mojo framework by going to mstrmojo.app.docmodel.bs, which stands for bean state, and we're going to apply that to a variable. We're then going to concatenate those two strings together, and we are going to take that information and apply it to a link. And when that link is clicked, it's going to provide the same functionality that we saw when we ran this document in express mode with the header showing. So I'm going to go ahead and open up another document that already has this configured. So we can see if we run the document in express mode and then apply a selector and then click on this link, it will open up a new tab and then automatically download the Excel document and have the most up-to-date selections that we've chosen. So this is just an example of how you can take MicroStrategy functionality and alter it to fit the needs of your end users. You know, as I said, if we take out the header or the, uh, the toolbar on this grid, this functionality will disappear and it's a lot more aesthetically pleasing if we place it in an HTML container and put a nice fancy button on top of it. So I'm going to place this snippet of code onto my GitHub account, which will be placed, a link will be placed down below the video, but feel free to comment or message me if you have any questions. Thank you.